Today I'm making a short video. It's a redo of when I did the Mechanical Alliance Dark Commander. The lighting was bad, so I thought I'd redo it. It's a Chinese brand. I think it's from uh, Die Cast Metal Transformation. And so <clears throat> I put out a few to compare. Um, this is the one with the semi. This is, uh, I forgot, Transformer Siege or whatever. I'll put it in the description. And this is uh, one of the more like Michael Bay type Transformers. So you can have a gauge of the build quality. So this is it. It's, it looks very beautiful. Uh, let's check the range of mo movement here. And I'm only going to be doing the robot side. This leg is pretty good. It's nice and firm. But this leg is loose. Hopefully when you if you decide to buy this, it doesn't come this way. There's ways to fix this. It's on a joint over here. But making it stand sometimes can be difficult because the the leg comes out. I think these are official. These are official Hasbro toys. This one isn't. I don't think. You can see over here. One of the problems I had again for some reason this side is looser is if I put a gun on it might come down easily if it's too heavy. You see over there comes down. Again, let's check the range of motion. It goes like this, goes down like this. This is loose. So I think the biggest concern is when you get this set is if the parts come out loose. Over here, when you open the front, there's no place for the Matrix of Leadership. On this one, this is the one that came with the semi. Uh, it has a place for the Matrix of Leadership, which is cool, it comes out. And I'll, I'll do it side by side so you can see the difference. But for now, the head's on firm. And you can see the back side. So I'm able to get it to stand up even on this surface. Let me move it back a little bit. So you can see, pretty cool. Again, because of the loose leg, sometimes doing the pose might be difficult. Doing poses with the arm and a gun is a bit difficult. So if I take it instead, move it to the left side, still has a problem with the arm. So take that into account. Posing with the gun might be difficult. So let's compare these two since they're sort of similar. See more attention to detail on the legs over here. This is more basic. Let's close this up. Sort of. Pop this guy out of the way. The Hasbro version the legs didn't broke over here, break over here. Everything is firm, so you don't have any issues with things falling down. The nice thing about the Hasbro version is in this version, the hands open up. And I've already shown you the matrix of leadership. 
So the chest opens up to the matrix of leadership. Let's see over there, arms. Same type of arm maneuverability. So they maneuver the same, it's just sometimes the pieces on here are looser. So overall, this toy is pretty cool. Just if you're wanting to pose it, there might be some issues. The attention to detail is pretty decent. So it's a nice thing to add to your collection, knowing what the possible flaws might be. I wish I had the gun. I don't know where the kid, my kid put the gun, but you can see we compare this, the new type of movie version of Optimus Prime with this Dark Commander. Different type of detail, different type of design. And then over here, comparing the Hasbro Optimus Prime to this one, there's a different type of detail. Sometimes this is more detailed. Sometimes this is just cleaner. And so, enjoy.